hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming at you with a very overdue empties video this will be my fall empties if you have not seen my other two empties videos I will link them up here and it took me forever to get these done simply because <laughs> y'all know I've been moving and moving and moving so I had like empties in my dorm room and empties in my temp apartment and then I had to put everything together and move it over here and then do the video <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today I have a lot of stuff so let's go ahead and get started um first thing always radiant pads um, this is the only one I have in here because I'm currently back on medical menopause and I don't really have periods like that so I have a box somewhere around here but I don't have to use it that much. Um, these are my favorites. I would highly suggest these. I don't really use tampons anymore. Um, I haven't really been able to use them since I had my surgery. They just hurt. Um, I don't know what the deal with that is but according to my doctor it happened so if you've ever had any laparoscopy type stuff done in terms of like endometriosis or fibroids you may run into that issue so right now I really don't use tampons. Then I have a Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Sheet Mask and this is the anti-fatigue one. That's what that looks like. Um, this is really good. Garnier makes really awesome sheet masks. Um, I will say that I use this in the evening and then continued with the rest of my skincare. I used this basically in the place of my serum and when I woke up my skin looked awesome so if you are looking for an inexpensive sheet mask I think I got this for $2.50 yeah $2.50 not bad at all so I would highly suggest these then I have the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser and this is the foaming one um ooh, you cannot see that there we go <laughs> Uh, Neutrogena just released this I think within like the, the last year. This is really good. I've already repurchased this. I have another bottle in my bathroom right now. This is really nice because it doesn't have any sulfate so it doesn't strip your skin. Really great if you have, to me, any skin type. I have very oily skin but my skin can also get really beat up by cleansers. I've told you guys this before. So, um, this works really well. I can feel it breaking down the dirt and the gunk on my face. So, I highly suggest this if you have sensitive skin, oily skin. Um, not sure how this would work for you if you have dry skin, but they do have a cream formula if you would prefer that. Then I have my Eco Styler Curl and Wave Gel. This is the level 8 pink one. Um, I hold another one about a month ago so I will go ahead and link that somewhere up here but y'all know this is my favorite eco styler gel I love the coconut oil one I love the black castor oil one but this still beats them for me <laughs> this is still my favorite so I would highly suggest this one if you have very curly or wavy hair like me then I have the Shea Soft and Smooth Conditioner from OGX I showed this in a video I'm pretty sure I think it was my Garnier Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter Leave-In review. I showed this as part of my routine. Um, this is not completely empty. This still has a little bit in there. It smells wonderful. It smells like cookies. I adore the smell. This is a really good conditioner even though it doesn't give me like as much slip as I could use. I really do enjoy this. So I would definitely suggest this, but I do have another conditioner in here that I would suggest over this one. I have the Neutrogena Porterifying Toner, and this one has AHA and BHA. I have used this for two years straight, and I have found something else. I will show it to you. I'm going to do a haul in the next couple of weeks. It'll be a collective haul over things that I purchased over the last couple of months. Um, I still do enjoy this, but I knew that it was time for me to start using something that didn't have as much alcohol in it. I really enjoyed this. It smoothed out the texture of my skin. It really helped me in the pore department, but I found something that also helps with my pores, but is more soothing to the skin and doesn't dry me out as much, and therefore I don't get as oily as quickly as I used to. So, And then this is the conditioner that I told you I would suggest over any conditioner that I have tried thus far. This is the Tresemme Botanique 
Um, and this one is the coconut milk and aloe vera conditioner. I have squeezed the living crap out of this guy <laughs> um, because I really do love it. So I went out on a limb and tried this even though I tried trust me conditioners that I did not like before and I've fallen in love. My hair responds so well to this. I put it in my hair, my hair just curls up, my curls are shiny, they're juicy, they're vibrant, they look wonderful. So I would highly suggest checking this conditioner out. Um, the last time I was at the store, I still saw it, but I didn't see as many of like the different types of this conditioner, but I did see this one. Um, this is the one that I would suggest over any of them. So go ahead, if you see this, pick it up, try it out. I really don't think that you'll regret it. And then I have my Bragg's apple cider vinegar. This is raw and unfiltered. I told you guys that this is what I've been using to wash my hair. I have not gotten a new bottle yet, but I need to because I need to go ahead and wash this out of my hair. You know my hair looks really good, but it's time for a wash. Um, this stuff is great to use to clarify, which is what I use it for because I need something that just does not set up right now. So this works really well. It makes my curls nice and shiny. It makes them bounce back. My curls actually take in moisture the way they're supposed to when I use this. I also like to use this for face masks. So I'll use my Indian Healing Clay. I'll mix equal parts clay, equal parts apple cider vinegar, and a couple of drops of tea tree oil. And I mean, when you talk about like cleaning your face, getting the gunk out of your pores, like that stuff is legit. So um, apple cider vinegar is an all-purpose product. I would suggest everyone have it, whether it be for your kitchen, your bathroom, your beauty routine. This has a lot of really great uses and I think everyone can benefit from having this. I finally, well I have a little bit left, but honestly it's starting to smell a little weird so I'm not gonna finish it. Um, I finally finished up my Burt's Bees cleansing oil. This has coconut and argan oils. Um, this is for normal or dry skin, but y'all know I have oily skin and it worked great. I don't use this to cleanse my skin, I use it to remove my makeup. Um, so this, this is a six fluid ounce bottle. This lasted me for a year and a half. It's pricey. I think it's like $16 at most drugstores, but you get a lot of product compared to other cleansing oils on the market in the drugstore. And this works wonderfully. I love this because I put it on, rub it all over my face, it melts the makeup off, and then I can just splash water on my face. It, the oil turns into a milk and it rinses completely clean. This is perfect. I have found something else that I'm trying that I really do enjoy, but I will be repurchasing this once I kind of test out some new ones from the drugstore. Then I have the Trader Joe's Nurse Spa Conditioner. Y'all saw me haul this, so you know I already purchased another one. This is my favorite leave-in with all of my Eco Styler gels. It works with every single one that I've tried, and it's wonderful. If you have not tried out the Trader Joe's Nurse Spa, you need to. It's cheap. It's $2.99 at Trader Joe's, but this is really great. It mixes perfectly with Eco Styler gels and it gives me amazing results. This is also a really awesome conditioner, so if you just want to get it for conditioning purposes, you can do that too. This bottle that I had, I used it for several wash and goes, as well as using it to condition my hair, and it lasts me a really long time. Highly, highly, highly suggest this. It will always be in my stash. And then we have Herbal Essences Hello Hydration. Y'all know that this has been my favorite conditioner for quite some time, and it's still a favorite. I still love it. It's just that the conditions that I'm living in right now, this does not work. Um, I put it in my hair, and I can't completely get it out of my hair, and that is very problematic. It has nothing to do with the conditioner and everything to do with the environment that I'm living in. <laughs> so if I ever end up in a place where I can use this again, I definitely will. It's great for slip, it's great to detangle your hair, and it definitely softens your hair. So if you have extremely curly hair, I would definitely suggest this. It just won't work for me right now. I also have the Maui Moisture Smooth and Repair Vanilla Bean Conditioner. This is for frizzy and unruly hair, and this is formulated with vanilla bean, cocoa butter, and kukui nut oil. I love this conditioner. It's really great. Um, the only thing is that I don't like the size of the bottle. I mean, it lasted me a while, but I still would prefer to have a larger bottle of conditioner. This smells like pure vanilla bean. It doesn't smell like um, artificial or strange. 
it smells like someone actually took vanilla bean pods and scraped the seeds out and put it in this conditioner. So the smell is wonderful. It's not offensive at all. This has awesome slip. Um, it's great for detangling. It's very lightweight. So I don't find that it does like a crap ton for my hair, but I will say that I have deep conditioned with this before and I have gotten good results. Not results like I get with my TGIN, but I still get good results. So this is great to use in a pinch if you need a deep condition and it's also really great to use as a detangling conditioner. I do plan on repurchasing it and I think there is a butter from the vanilla bean line that they have as well. So once I see that, I'll get my hands on it and I will review and demo it for you guys. All right, next I have the Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Oat Sugar and Shea Breakfast Scrub. And this took me a while to get through, honestly. I don't use scrubs as much as I should, like at least not on my body. I exfoliate all the time when it comes to my face, but not my body. This stuff smells so good. And you can kind of see the texture in there a little bit. It's very grainy. Um, it is very great at exfoliating. I love it because on days when I'm like really, really itchy, I'll use this and the oat in it helps to calm my skin down. So I would highly suggest this. Um, Ulta has these on sale a lot of the time for like, like buy two, get one free or like buy one, get one 50% off. Um, and I think they do sell Soap and Glory now at like Target. I think they might be at Walgreens and CVS now, so they're a little bit more accessible now. Um, I would highly suggest that, and I would also highly suggest the Smoothie Star Body Butter. But they do have a body butter and a body butter lotion. I have the body butter lotion here. It smells wonderful. It smells like pistachios and honey. All of them are great. Those are my favorite products from Soap and Glory. So if you decide you want to test out Soap and Glory, I would suggest those products first. And I have another packet of Shiseido Facial Cotton. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, I went through one of these. Um, I purchased two packets during the spring VIB sale, and they lasted me up until like the mid-December. So I just repurchased these. These are my favorite. They don't tear up my skin, and they're actually a good bang for your buck. Yes, they are a little bougie, but when you compare how much you get to the drugstore and the fact that you can cut them in half, which is what I do, and use them like that, you get way more for your buck. So I would highly suggest those. They're $10 at Sephora. I also have the Design Essentials Natural Coconut Aminoid Coconut Water Curl Refresher. Um, I have a little bit left here, but honestly, I was tired of it. I was ready to get rid of it. Um, this doesn't really do anything. Like, it says it's a curl refresher, but I feel like there's a little bit too much water in it for you to have good results after having refreshed. We have a train behind us, so if you can hear it, sorry. <laughs> I need to get through this because i got to go to work. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is okay if you really enjoy, like, water-based, heavily water-based refreshers, then you will like this. But to me, I could have gotten the same effects with water. So it just wasn't in my best interest to repurchase this. I can't remember how much it was, but I know it was definitely more than $10. So... Um, for what this did, I don't feel like it was worth the price. And then I have my Sleepy Hand and Body Lotion. I'm so sad that this is gone, but I do plan on getting another one when I'm not broke. <laughs> I purchased way too much Lush in like the last couple of months. Y'all will see, I have a haul coming. This one, if you've ever used any of their Twilight products, it smells like Twilight. It has a very soft, sweet lavender scent. It smells so good. I tell y'all all the time, this smells like friendship to me because the first time I tried it, it was gifted to me by my friends. Absolutely love this stuff. It's great for the body. It makes my skin radiant. It makes me feel great. So if you ever see this, if you're ever near Lush or you purchase products online, get sleepy. It's a little bit pricey for a lotion, but it's definitely worth it and it will last you a very long time. And I have some Eden Body Works. I have the Natural Hair Mask Treatment from the Coconut and Shea line, and this is their deep conditioner. I really enjoy this deep conditioner. It's extremely thick. I will say if you'd use this, you definitely want to use it with heat. If you just put it on your hair and sit around with it in your hair, you're not going to see really great results. This needs heat to actually get results. When you use heat in your hair, you will see... Um, 
wonderful results and even if you use this with their matching oil from the coconut shea line makes your hair look really great gives you a nice soft juicy curl so I would definitely purchase this again um, I just want to try out more of the things that I've hauled before I start purchasing more products. I also have the Eden Body Works Natural Cleansing Co-Wash. This is to cleanse the condition and this is also from the Coconut Shea line. Now, I'm going to have to get another one of these to tell you how I feel about it. Um, when I started using this, this was at the point where I was having a lot of issues with buildup. And the thing about this is that it does kind of foam up a little bit. So right now, my hair is not, a, not in a condition where this is completely suitable. And I think the thing that I don't like about it is that it foams up, but it's so moisturizing. So you feel like you should be able to leave a little bit of it in. And honestly, sometimes I couldn't tell when I got all of it out. And I feel like this did contribute a little bit to the buildup issue that I was having because it foamed up just enough to create a problem. So... I want to try it again because in reality, is it a good co-wash? Hell yeah, it's a great co-wash. But I feel like with what I've been dealing with, this contributed a lot to my buildup and therefore I couldn't tell you how well the product worked. So um, once I'm in a situation where I can try this again and give an accurate representation of how I felt about it, I will and then I'll let y'all know. I have a big guy of my Ollie Perfect Women's Multi vitamin this um is a blend of vitamins a c d e b's biotin and folic acid um this one contains 180 gummies so i think this was like a three month supply i want to say um my mom got me this from sam's club because my parents have a sam's club membership um i have repurchased this since i did fall off on using my vitamins for a while so my bad <laughs> But I have repurchased this. This is one of the only multivitamins that I really trust and enjoy. I also use their melatonin. I really enjoy their melatonin. They are pricey, but I've noticed that Target has been doing a lot more sales on them. So if you see these and you've been curious about it, I would highly suggest them. Um, I do see a difference. So definitely check these out. Next, I have the Ole Henriksen Aloe Vera Deep Cleanser. This is their Calming Gel. Um, they have since changed this, and there is a little bit left in this, but the more I used it, the more I realized it was just tearing my skin apart. Let's see. I hauled this a while ago. This I hauled this, at, like, in the summer. Um, it was nice, and I enjoyed the lather that it had. I liked how it felt tingling on my skin, but this just kind of tore my skin up. And I like a lot of Ole Henriksen products, but this one didn't do it for me. They don't sell this specific one anymore. They have one that has replaced it. Um, and I told you guys that I loved that one so, so much. That one was really good. So um, it's like in their green packaging and it's their oil control line. If you see the cleanser from that, get it and try it. It's amazing. It definitely um, helped out my skin, and I think the next time I run out of um, my nighttime cleanser, I will definitely purchase that because that one was bomb. Then I have the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Mud to Foam Cleanser. I hauled this in my VIB haul, and this lasted me for a solid six months. I told you guys that I don't use this to cleanse. Every single day, I use this when I either feel breakouts coming or I'm having a really hard time with the breakout. So what I do is I take a little bit of this out, apply it all over the face. I'll let it set for a couple of minutes, like while I'm waiting for my water to get warm or whatever. And then I'll get in the shower and just like keep foaming this up, just cleanse my face. Um, I love this stuff. They have since changed it. So they don't have any more of the cleansers from the line aside from the super cleanse. Um, this is now in different packaging. It's in a tube. It's no longer in this. A lot of people hated. They complained about the packaging. I didn't mind it, even though it did get a little messy. Um, and they have changed the formula. So this doesn't, if you leave it on your skin, it's not going to dry down the way that this one did. I have since tried the new one, and I actually like it better. 
so when I can afford to I will be getting another one of these because I really 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 enjoyed it I've tried a lot of glam glow products and a lot of them haven't lived up to the hype for me but this one did so if you decide you want to splurge on some skincare I would say try this out some makeup I have the Kat Von D Locket Featherweight Primer um this got a little beat up but I have had this for over two years it never went bad on me it always worked the same I really love this on days when my skin is feeling super dry and parched. This is a really great base. It mixes well with other primers. So if you want to put this down and then put like a, a pore filling primer on top, um, this works really well for that. I do like that it has the pump. You can see how much you have left and you can see that you've actually run out of it. This is a really great base and I do plan on getting another one. I think she renamed it though. So um, if you're looking for it, it's in different packaging. Um, the tube is the same, but the design of the packaging is different, and um, she did change the name, so if you're looking for a good moisturizing primer, definitely try out the Kat Von D. Oh, I love this. <laughs> um, this is the Pantene Gold Series Intense Hydrating Oil. This is infused with argan oil. I did a whole review on all of the Pantene Gold Series products that I purchased. This was the only one that I really liked. Um, it was the only one that did anything for me. I love this stuff. This is a really great serum. It is a silicone based serum. So if you're on the curly girl method, this will not be for you. But I love this because I've told y'all, my hair will definitely change shape and texture when it comes to humidity and this helped a lot. So this is a wonderful summertime product. I finally have more locations in my area that are carrying the Pantene Gold series line. So now I can easily repurchase it and I'm really excited. I'll definitely be repurchasing this within the next couple of months. I also have the Camille Rose Naturals Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Growth Serum. And this uses Ayurvedic Brahmi and Amla oils. This is for all hair types and textures. This is a really great oil. Now I use this for a lot of different things. First of all, it smells like chocolate. It smells so good. And oh, there's actually a little bit left in this. So let me put this to the side because I'm definitely going to use it. So I would use this on my scalp to do um, scalp massages. I would also use this on my hair and my hair was feeling super dry. And I would also mix that in with my deep conditioners. It's a wonderful all-purpose oil and it's great that you actually get a full 8 ounces. Most pricey oils that are at the same price point as that, I think that one is like $14. Most oils in the natural hair community today you can get for $14 and you only get one ounce. So price on that actually isn't bad for what you're getting. I really enjoyed it and I would highly suggest to anyone who's natural, who's trying to get into better ingredients, that oil worked wonders. I also have the As I Am Smoothing Gel. Y'all have seen me use this. I use this for my puffs. I use it for my edges. I even use it for wash and goes. Awesome gel. I need to repurchase it. I forgot that I didn't have it, but I have so much here that I need to try. So um, once I get through a lot more of my gels, because I have Eco Styler Gel City up in here, I will definitely be repurchasing this. This is a great, healthier alternative to a heavier gel to use for your edges or to use for actual smooth down styles. And then I have my Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Uh, there's a little bit left in here, but there's not enough for me to do anything with it. So I just went ahead and put it in my empties, and I'm pretty sure this is probably going bad at this point. Favorite gel. Absolutely love it. Um, I will have Kinky Curly in my stash until the day I'm gone, unless they stop selling it, and I hope they never do. If you have very curly hair like I do, and you have not tried Kinky Curly, you need to. It's a staple. It's wonderful. There's a reason why people still talk about it. Amidst all of these natural hair products that have come out, people still swear by Kinky Curly. So if you have not tried it, you need to go try it. Like, now. <laughs> Deodorant, I have the Dove Dry Spray Go Fresh. This was in the Revive scent. Really love these deodorants, even though they're terrible for the environment, and I hate that they work so well for me. Um, I tried switching over to the Degree, and the Degree doesn't work as well for me, so once I finish that one, I will be going back to Dove. And yes, if the product still works for me, I'm going to use it. I would like to not use Dove, but I'm not trying to walk around stinking, so. S more skincare. I have the Brazen Honey Fresh Face Mask. This is from Lush. Um, I think I've talked to you guys about this. This is a really nice clarifying 
um, pore cleansing face mask. It's fresh, so you have to keep it in the fridge when you get it. You can only get it in Lush stores. This is one of my favorite masks of all time. Whenever I can, I go and I get a Brazen Honey because it just does that well for my skin. It will pull everything out and it will pull things out of your skin for days. So if you are someone that struggles with acne, go get, get you some Brazen Honey. It's wonderful. I also have the Aisha Fresh Face Mask. Um, this one is to tighten um, and it also really helps with my pores. This one is made with asparagus, kiwi leaves, um, it has a lot of different ingredients in here. This smells like straight crap, but it makes my skin look great, so I don't mind using it. Another one that I feel like y'all definitely have to have if you have itchy, acne prone, inflamed skin. This is Bunny Moon, and this is one of their new jelly face masks. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about these. These actually look like jello, so you get them and they're just like a big mass, jiggly mass in the pot. Um, you break a piece off, you rub it into your hands, and it kind of turns into the texture of like silken tofu. You put it all over your face, you let it sit for about 10 minutes and you wash it off. Um, I honestly let it sit a little bit longer than that, but I love it. It's so, so good. Um, if I'm having a lot of breakouts, but my skin hurts too much to put on, a cleansing mask then I will pull this out this will bring down the redness it will take down the inflammation and then the next night I'll go in with my cleansing more so stripping mask to kind of help start to get all that gunk out of my face so I really enjoy this the next time I go to Lush I will be buying another I also have my belief the true cream aqua bomb y'all already know how I feel about this I don't have to tell you I'm getting another one and they have come out with jumbo ones now at Sephora so Y'all already know we're going to be in here. also have the Cora's Wild Rose um, Facial Oil. I just ran out of this. I absolutely love it. I would definitely repurchase it again. It smells wonderful. It makes my skin brighter. This contains vitamin C. So it's really great if you're trying to get into vitamin Cs but you don't want to use a lot of targeted serums. Um, this is great at nighttime. I have not repurchased this because I wanted to try something new. But um, I really enjoy this and this will be back in my stash at some point. Getting to the end, we have the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. Um, this is a really great base for just about any product, but this is really great to use in conjunction with all of your As I Am products. Absolutely love this. It's just a basic leave-in. There isn't much I can say about it except I really enjoy it and I would buy it again. We have the Shea Moisture African Water Mint and Ginger Shea Butter Vegan Lip Balm. Now I know. I know. It was the only one I could get at the time. I tried it. It was okay. It honestly kind of made my lips peel a little bit, and it didn't do the protecting things that it said it would do in the winter time, so I wouldn't buy it again. Definitely not. <laughs> um, and then I also have my First Aid Beauty Skin Lab Resurfacing Liquid with 10% Alpha Hydroxy Acid. Tow this bottle up. I absolutely love this. Um, I'm using my Oil Hendrickson Serum right now. Cause I told you I would switch out so um, my skin didn't get used to it so once I finish the Ole Henriksen I'll go back to the First Aid Beauty. I have this tiny Caudalie Vino Perfect um, Serum. Y'all this stuff is so good and I'm mad that it's so good because it's an $80 serum. Um, if I can ever afford to buy an $80 serum I will. <laughs> but yeah if you can't afford to, to splurge on that it is a very very nice serum. And then I have just a couple more empties, almost done. I have another Garnier sheet mask. This is the Super Hydrating Mask, and this is Soothing. This was really, really nice as well. All the Garnier sheet masks are good. Um, I can't say enough about them. When I get them, I usually get them like two for five, so very affordable, not a huge investment at all. And then I finished off my Karuna Karma Kit face mask. I found this set at Marshall's. Um, and this contained four different masks. It came with the exfoliating face mask, the hydrating one, antioxidant, and age defying. Um, I have the antioxidant one here. Um, this is nice, but I don't feel like it's worth the price. The ones that I do like in here, and they do still sell these at Sephora, is the exfoliating face mask. If you love chemical exfoliants, that one is awesome. And the hydrating face mask, that one is wonderful too. So. If you try any of the ones from Karuna, I would suggest starting with those two and then maybe trying out some other ones because these are pricey. These are like $8 a mask, so be wary of this. I say start with the exfoliating or the hydrating. 
all right guys so that is the end of my empties video um i had a lot of stuff but we got through it um i do plan on doing a couple of hauls within the next two weeks so be on the lookout for that and if you have not checked out my last video for my eco styler um core activator review you definitely need to go check that out i have a lot of opinions on it um these are my results from that and my hair still looks really good so thank you guys so much for tuning in today and i will see you in the next video bye